हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो इन अवर सीरीज कोडिंग फॉर प्लेसमेंट इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कॉमन डिफिकल्टीज फेस्ड बाय बिगिनर्स ड्यूरिंग कोडिंग राउंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इलेबरेट ऑन द सेम टॉपिक बाय सॉल्विंग वन कोडिंग प्रॉब्लम इफ यू हैवंट वॉच्ड अवर प्रीवियस पोस्ट सीएट देन लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन डू चेक इट आउट ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल टू नॉट मिस एनी प्लेसमेंट अपडेट्स ऑल राइट सो लेट अस बिगिन here is the question which is given in a story like format title of the question is pick up the balls problem statement is you are given a number of boxes containing variable number of balls you will iteratively pick up the balls until and unless there are no balls left in any box the condition is that during every iteration you have to select box that contain minimum number of balls and pick up the same amount of balls from all other boxes if a box gets empty you throw away that box given the initial number of balls in n boxes print how many boxes are left before each iteration until there are none left so what is our initial understanding of the problem there will be some boxes given each containing different number of balls the crux part of the problem is this that is the condition is given that you have to iterate and select box that contain minimum number of balls and pick up that number of balls from all other boxes so this is the critical part of the problem and the condition for output given is you have to print how many boxes are left before each iteration all right so we have to print number of boxes not the number of balls so this is important point we have to print how many boxes are left before each iteration to understand the problem in more detail we continue reading next section of the problem input format given is first line contains single integer n denoting number of boxes second line contains n space separated integers denoting number of balls in each box output format given is for each operation print the number of boxes that are present before the operation on separate lines after that there is one sample example given sample input is 6 that is 6 will be the number of boxes and this, these are the number of balls in each box so 5 4 4 2 2 8 these six numbers represent number of balls in six boxes and output for this input will be 6 4 2 1 what does this 6 4 2 1 represent that is the number of boxes which are present before every iteration so before first iteration there will be six boxes that is all the boxes will be present before first iteration before second iteration there will be four boxes left before third iteration there will be two boxes left and before last iteration there will be only one box left so this is sample input and sample output now before you start thinking programmatically it is important to solve the problem manually first so that we can develop some logic so the explanation is also given here now in explanation there are three parts that is number of balls boxes present and number of balls picked so number of balls represent count of balls in every box all right so before first iteration 5 4 4 2 2 8 these num these many number of balls are present in six boxes so boxes present before first iteration is 6 and balls picked is 2 now why balls picked is 2 because as the condition given in the problem statement that we have to select a box which contains minimum number of balls so what is the intuitive solution which comes to mind what comes to my mind first that we will print the number of non zero boxes here so before first iteration number of non zero boxes is 6 so we will print that after that we will find out which box has the minimum number of balls so in this case this particular box this fourth box has the minimum number of balls that is 2 so we will subtract Two from each of the remaining elements. So after subtracting two from each of the remaining elements, the array that we will get will be three, two, two, here zero, zero, and six. All right. And again, we will count the number of non-zero boxes. In this case, number of non-zero boxes will be four now because these two elements are zero here. Okay. So number of non-zero boxes are now four. again we will repeat the same procedure that is we will find the box which contain minimum number of balls now here the box which contain minimum number of balls is the second box and it contains two balls here this two so we will again subtract two from all the elements of the array 
सो फर्स्ट एलिमेंट विल नाउ बिकम वन सेकंड एंड थर्ड एलिमेंट विल नाउ बिकम जीरो फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ एलिमेंट आर ऑलरेडी जीरो एंड नाउ लास्ट एलिमेंट विल बिकम सिक्स माइनस टू दैट इज फोर ऑल राइट सो अगेन वी विल काउंट नंबर ऑफ नॉन जीरो बॉक्सेस विच विल बी टू इन दिस केस दैट इज फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट बॉक्स अगेन वी विल फाइंड द बॉक्स विच कंटेन मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ बॉल्स here in this case this is first box which contain only one ball so we will subtract one from the all elements of array so first element will also become zero rest of the elements are already zero and last element will now become 4 minus 1 that is 3 all right so now the boxes present is only one and as only one box is left so we will pick number of balls that are present in that box that is 3 So three minus three will become zero. Rest of the elements are already zero. So as no boxes are present now, we will complete our iteration. So this is the intuitive solution which comes to mind. Now note here that at every iteration we have to go through all the number of uh, all the elements of array and we will we have to find which box has minimum number of balls and what is the number of non-zero boxes present. We have to do this procedure for every iteration so the time complexity might be issue in this case so now we will discuss a better efficient solution let us look at efficient solution for this problem initially our array is 5 4 4 2 2 eight now we are just going to sort this array in ascending order so our array will now become 2 2 4 4 5 and 8 all right so after sorting our array has changed and as a first value in the answer we are just going to print the original number of boxes that is 6 so we will print that original number of boxes as it is and we have this sorted array now now in this sorted array the minimum element is 2 we will count how many times this minimum element has occurred now 2 has occurred two number of times So we will subtract that two from six. So six minus two will now become four. After that, the second lowest element in the array is four. This four is also have occurred two number of times. So we will again subtract two from our current count value that is four. So four minus two will again become two. After that, next lowest element in our array is five. This five has occurred only one number of times. So two minus one will now become one. and our last element is 8 which is occurring only once so 1 minus 1 become 0 and whenever the answer is becoming 0 we are not printing 0 here so as you can see in the sample example that our answer is up to 6421 only we are not printing 0 here so that is 6421 is what is our required answer so not here what i have done i am not subtracting any number from uh, any other element from of the array all i am doing is just sorting the array after that counting the frequency of lowest element 2 was occurring twice so i have subtracted 2 from 6 so 6 minus 2 became 4 here after that 4 was also occurring twice so 4 minus 2 again become 2 then 5 was occurring only once so 2 minus 1 became 1 and 8 was occurring once 1 minus 1 became 0 and we are not printing 0 so only 6 4 2 is our final answer so to summarize this approach first of all sort the array after that print box count before every iteration iteratively count frequency of lowest elements this should be the third step here and this will be the final fourth step that is subtract this frequency from box count after doing these four steps we can easily find the solution of the answer solution will be whatever we are printing that is the box count before every iteration that is our answer and this is the easy way to solve this problem this is the code for this problem i have written this code in java language first of all i am taking input for size of the array that is integer n then i have declared one integer array named as boxes whose size is n after that i am taking input for all the elements of array now this is the important part i have sorted this boxes array using arrays dot sort method after that i am taking one variable 
boxes present which is initialized to n why because initially there are all the boxes present so we have initialized boxes present to n then we are iterating through all the elements of array now at every iteration what first thing we are doing we are printing the value of boxes present all right then this inner loop is for just counting the frequency of each distinct element after we count the frequency of distinct element it is it is getting stored in this variable that is temp once we exit from this inner loop what we are doing is we are just subtracting this temp value from boxes present so boxes present is equal to boxes present minus temp all right and finally we are adjusting the value of i also we will keep on doing this loop until and unless i i value is less than n all right and every iteration again we will print first value of boxes present and the same procedure will follow so that's that's all in this code this inner loop is important it is used to count the frequency of distinct element i hope you understand this logic on your own yes that's it so this is a very small program to solve this problem so that's it for this problem guys i hope you got to learn something from this video if you have any query related to this problem or any other programming query feel free to ask that in comment section and stay tuned for next videos